Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a trying new stuff video. I wanted to basically just show you guys some of the products that I recently got in the mail. Um, all of this stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys that's new is going to be um, PR stuff that was sent to me to try out. So I can't wait to show you guys some of the things that I got because this will be my first time touching and feeling and experimenting with the products. So I'll let you guys know what I think about them. So if you guys want to see this look, then just keep on watching. All right, before we get started, I gotta stay hydrated. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into this palette. So this is the Deck of Scarlet palette. Now, if you guys don't know, I've already talked about this palette before, but just in case you missed it, Deck of Scarlet is a makeup subscription where every two months you get a new makeup palette with all the products you need for like a full face. And it costs less than one product that you would normally get at Sephora. This season's palette is created by a YouTuber named Melly Sanchez. And it comes with three eyeshadows, a blush, a highlighter, two lip colors, and a duo-ended lip liner and lip chubby i have a link for you guys in the description box you can get 10 percent off this edition of the deck of scarlet palette so this is the palette it's really really pretty it has a flower on the front and then on the back it says edition number four and then you have your colors in here so you've got a really nice array of fall ish colors they have some silver undertones and more neutral undertones so it's definitely doable for a full look so now i'm going to get into the rest of my face this is the farsali what is this called unicorn tears hot huh? Unicorn Tears Serum, and I'm going to drop it on my face. And everybody does that to your face, so I had to do it. <laughs> I felt stupid doing it though, so I was like, okay, never mind. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna spread that around my face just to keep my face hydrated and balanced underneath my makeup. This is like my first step for priming my face is to moisturize and give myself some balance. So now I'm gonna go into this package that I got from Bare Minerals. This is their Bare Pro 24 hour coverage. They gave me two different foundations to try, a foundation brush, a contour palette, a blush brush, and a primer. The primer I'm gonna use is the Combo Control. And I wanted to try this out just to see if it really Okay, just to see if it really works um, for balancing the skin. I'm guessing that it's supposed to be like for combination skin. It kind of reminded me of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer to like hydrate and plump the skin. So I don't know, after it dried, it felt pretty good. And as you can see, my skin is not shiny. So now I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color medium deep. Who's your daddy? I'm gonna pat that all over my face just to give me an even coverage. And then I'm trying these two foundations just to see which color is mine. And I ended up going with a lighter one. This is the color Chai. And this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This foundation does contain um, SPF 20 in it, I believe. So I was a little afraid that it might oxidize. I couldn't get this bottle open for whatever reason. I can never open bottles. Like, look at me opening it. Like, okay, that's not how you open it. Duh, Vicky is a pump. Duh. So anyways, I'm gonna take the brush that they sent and I'm gonna pump one pump on there just to see if the color matches. It matches my neck and my chest pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And like I said, it does have SPF 20 in it, so it would oxidize anyway. So I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna get too dark on me throughout the day. And it didn't, it definitely didn't. It stayed a good color and it matched me pretty well. So shout out to them for sending me my shade. Blending that down my jawline, I'm gonna go ahead and blend on the other side, adding some more pumps. And this foundation is pretty good, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie, it's not my favorite, but only because I haven't really used it a lot to really get a full understanding of what it really does for me personally. But I do like the coverage. It is a good medium to full. It can be buildable and it is a good coverage. It's not too shiny or greasy or oily. I didn't notice myself getting super, super oily throughout the day. I felt like it looked like skin. It wasn't like cracking up or caking up on me. Um, it looked very natural. So I mean, but Bare Minerals always has really natural looking foundations so I never really expected it to be bad this is a contour palette and it contains a highlighter shade a blending shade and then a contour shade so look at me going in with this powder thinking that it's a cream product like I was like oh this is a real powdery cream <laughs> oh my god you guys today I was just doing a whole bunch of mess like what is what is going on with me today and then I realized halfway through that it was powder yeah okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer because that was not what I thought it would be. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand and I'm just gonna put that in the areas where I normally would have my highlight my face, underneath my eyes, on my bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And I'm gonna use 
the Sephora foundation brush to blend that out. And then I realized that I wet my Fenty sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge after that to further blend out and get rid of any excess product that I may have applied because I did apply a lot. So I'm just gonna dab that on those areas just to blend it out evenly. Now I'm gonna go back with that contour palette and set those areas with the powder now that I know that it's a powder, not a cream product. And I like the color and the way that it sets. It definitely gives me a nice setting, but you guys know I'm extra and I was a little worried that it might crease or whatever. So I just went ahead with my Laura Mercier powder, my regular Laura Mercier powder and set it a little bit. And because I wanted to catch some of that fallout that I may get when I put on my eyeshadow. All right, now I'm going in with my Fenty matchstick in the color Truffle, and I'm just gonna contour my face with it. I'm doing a circular motion because I like the way that my contour comes out when it's not too straight. I'm also gonna put some of that on my nose, and I'm also gonna blend that into the inner part of my eyebrows just to like kind of chisel out that area, give me a little more dimension. And then I'm gonna put it on my forehead using this brush from Morphe. So I'm blending out the rest of it. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just so I can save time. Magic. Ah. Filled in my eyebrows with using the color Pop Brow Pencil El Chaos. So now I'm going in with that blending shade. And y'all, that blending shade though, it worked super quick and it looked really nice and it didn't change the color of my foundation or anything. Like it matched me perfectly. So I was really pleased with that. I really think that this contour palette is actually really good and I would carry this around when I travel just because you don't wanna have to carry around too many powders, you know? Um, so I feel like it's a really good all around palette for contouring and highlighting. So definitely like that and how that came out. So I just went ahead and blended that blend color all over my face. Yep, checking it out, making sure everything's okay. My face is looking nice and matte, I like it. So this is the Smashbox Brush Bible. They sent me this a couple months ago actually and I just never opened it, but it's intense and it was overwhelming. So I'm just now getting to it, but my, all my brushes are dirty. So I figured this would be a good time for me to try out some of their brushes. So they sent me like a whole line of brushes, right? And um, this one side that I've opened is not even the whole thing. There's a whole nother side to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use three eyeshadow brushes and I'm going to take the blending brush into Sagittarius. It's a deep reddish plum brown shade and I'm blending that into my crease just to give me a nice transition from the dark color that I'm gonna use because this is kind of like a daytime-ish smoky eye. It can be intensified if you put like a black gel liner or something down first and then apply the black shadow just to make it really really pop but since it was like the daytime i didn't want to do too much of a smoky eye so i'm just blending that in my crease and then i'm going to blend that on the bottom lash line as well with a smaller pencil brush and then after using sagittarius i'm going to go in with a flatter brush and i'm going to put new york which is a very very shiny shimmery black onto my lid like i said this would look better and more intensified if you used a gel liner first to give it some depth and and deepen it up a bit because of course applying a black eyeshadow on your eyes is not going to show up well unless you have a base down um but like i said i wanted to keep it really calm and chill for the daytime so i'm just blending around the edges and then i'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette which is diamond dust it's a shimmery opaque silver and i'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eyes so now i'm going to just highlight so i'm going to use rum from fenty beauty and i'm just going to use a fan brush to basically dust that over the areas where i normally highlight my brow bone my cheekbones my cheeks and my nose then I'm going to take this highlighter in the palette, which is called Pinot Grigio. And this is a glowy highlighter. It's not necessarily a gold, but it's not necessarily a silver either. I feel like it's a good mix between the two. It's like a champagne-y color. This is the color Adorable, and it's a rustic brick shade. So it's very, very flattering on me. I find that most reddish blushes look really, really good. So I'm just swirling that around my cheeks and my cheekbones. I'm also gonna drag out my crease color because I noticed that this blush matches my crease color perfectly. So I'm gonna drag that out and kind of like give it a more uniform look, give it a diffused look. I'm gonna use this Ico mascara and I'm going to give myself just a one coat of mascara on my lashes, top and bottom. 
These are your lash bar, Long Island lashes. And then I'm going to uh, do a little dance, listening to Billy Holiday, you know, getting all the feels, all the feels. Hit the dab with the scissors. Okay, be careful with the scissors. Get, can you get back to your girl? Come on. So now we're gonna put on these eyelashes and I'm gonna just apply those with my House of Lashes Lash Glue. Love these lashes. Shout out to Taylor, link in the description. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, so now we're moving on to our lip. This is a lip balm by Jack Black. And then I'm gonna put my ColourPop pencil down. Now I realized after I did this look that I had a lip liner from the Deck of Scarlet box, but it's okay. We're still gonna use the Deck of Scarlet lip color. I'm just gonna use this lip liner first, this baby lip liner that is like almost all gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the lip color. And the lip color that I'm going to use is Sasha, and this is a tannish nude, and it's very, very creamy. I didn't think it was gonna be as creamy as it was, but it's very, very creamy. And I'm just using a lip brush to blend that into my lip liner and give me a nice, even lip. And it looks really good. Like, I actually really, really like how this turned out. I mean, I love nudes though, so you can't really go wrong with a nude. And then I'm going to put the Taraji lip glass on top, the Viva Glam Taraji lip glass. So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty highlighter because I just felt like I didn't have enough highlight on. So I'm gonna use my Ginger Bench Moscow Mule and I'm going to take both sides of that duo and put that on my cheek area just to give me a little bit more of a highlight, a more shimmery highlight. All right, we're gonna check ourselves out. We look good, we look good, okay. So I just put on these earrings from Nordstrom Rack and now I'm going to give face. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you wanna see more makeup tutorials from me. It's been a while since I've done like a makeup tutorial with a voiceover and everything. So let me know if you guys wanna see more of those. If you guys have any questions about anything that I have on, like my hair, my earrings, my shirt, um, and my necklace and all of that, I will definitely put links in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Everything will be in there. I love you. I'll talk to you in my next video. Peace out.